Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to use timer 0. In today video I will show you how to use timer 1. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Timer 1. Timer 1 is a 16 bits counter timer with its own dedicated prescaler and an option to use an external oscillator in place of the F oscillator slash 4 clock. There is also an option to synchronize the external clock to the internal clock, if it is so desired. Timer 1 can generate interrupts, if they are enabled. The two Timer 1 counter registers, TMR1H and TMR1L, are the most significant and least significant bytes, respectively, and are both readable and writable. Timer TMR1 module is a 16 bits timer slash counter, which means that it consists of two registers, TMR1L and TMR1H. It can count up 65.535 pulses in a single cycle, i.e. before the counting starts from zero. Here is timer 1 16 bits register. 16 bits timer divide into two 8 bits registers. That is TMR1H register. And that that is TMR1L register. THR1H hold higher bits of data. Start from bit 8 to bit 15. THR1L hold lower bits of data. Start from bit 0 to bit 7. Registers used for timer 1. T1 con register. The T1 con register contains various control bits for the timer 1, like timer slash counter, timer gate control, prescaler, timer enable and count enable bits. Bit 7 6 unimplemented, read as 0. Bit 5 4 T1 CKPS 1 T1 CKPS 0 timer 1 input clock prescale select bits. 1 1 equals 1 8 prescale value. 1 0 equals 1 4 prescale value. 0 1 equals 1 2 prescale value. 0 0 equals 1 1 prescale value. Bit 3 T1 OSCEN, timer 1 oscillator enable control bit. 1 equals oscillator is enabled. 0 equals oscillator is shut off, the oscillator inverter is turned off to eliminate power drain. Bit 2 T1 sync, timer 1 external clock input synchronization control bit. When TMR1 CS equals 1. 1 equals do not synchronize external clock input. 0 equals synchronize external clock input. When TMR1 CS equals 0. This bit is ignored. Timer 1 uses the internal clock when TMR1 CS equals 0. Bit 1 TMR1 CS, timer 1 clock source select bit. 1 equals external clock from pin RC0 slash T1 OSO slash T1 CKI, on the rising edge. 0 equals internal clock, FOSC slash 4. Bit 0 TMR1 ON, timer 1 on bit. 1 equals enables timer 1. PIR1. The PIR1 register contains various interrupt control bits, like timer 1 overflow bits timer 2 overflow bit, serial port interrupt bits. ADIF, RCIF, TXIF, SSPIF, CCP1IF, TMR2IF, TMR1IF. How to calculate time delay? Every timer needs a clock pulse to tick. The clock source can be internal or external. If we use the external clock source, then one fourth of the frequency of the crystal oscillator on the OSC1 and OSC2 pins, F oscillator slash 4, is fed into the timer. We have 8 MHz crystal 8 MHz slash 4 equals 2 M is the frequency. Clock period T equals 1 slash 2 MHz equals 0.5 microsecond. F out equals F crystal divide by 4 multiply by prescalar value 
multiply by 65536 minus timer initial value. We are using 8 MHz crystal. Divide by 4 multiply by press scalar value is 256. Multiply by 65536 minus initial value 0. Answer is 30.5175. T out equals 1 divide by F out. 1 divide by F out is 30.5175. Answer is 0.032768. This is maximum delay we can generate with timer 0. Project, how to use timer 1. In this project LED is connected to port D.RD0 pin of a PIC 16 f 877 microcontroller and we are using the current syncing mode of the LED. Microcontroller is operated from an 8 MHz crystal. When power apply to the microcontroller, or when the microcontroller is reset, the LED get turn on and off. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC 16 f 877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Pin RD0 is interface with LED and we are using current syncing mode of the LED. The value of the resistor is 260 ohm. Pin numbers 13 and 14 interface with an 8 MHz crystal. And 22 PF capacitors connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus. The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC. Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. I will copy the code. And I will pass it here. Now I will define you the code. S bit LED at port D dot B0. Define LED at port D pin RD0. Void T1 delay. Timer 1 1 second delay. Unsigned char. I. 4i equals 0i less than 30 and increment i. For loop for delay. TMR1H equals 0x00. Load initial value into higher bits of timer 1. TMR1L equals 0x00. Load initial value into lower bits of timer 1. While. PIR1.TMR1IF. Wait until timer rollover. PIR1.TMR1IF equals 0. Clear timer flag. Void main. Main function. TRISDRD0 equals 0. 
Set port D pin RD0 direction as output pin. T1 con equals 0x31. Press Kaler assigned to timer 1, press Kaler value equals to 1 and we are using 8 MHz crystal. While 1. Endless loop. LED equals 0 turn on LED. T1 delay. Call timer 1 delay and wait 1 second. Whenever we call the timer 1 delay function. It will stay in this loop wait and wait here while timer 1 flag rollover. After that it will clear the timer 1 flag and repeat for loop 30 times and we get the 1 second delay. After that, LED equals 1 turn off LED. T1 delay. Call timer 1 delay and wait 1 second. It will repeat the code again and again. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. Now you can see LED get turned on and after 1 second delay it will get turned off. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And Keep watching Star Technology 5G.